Hello, dear friends. Chris here. I hope everybody is fabulous today. Um, I have an unboxing for you today of one item. Well, actually, that's not true. Hold on one second. I actually have two items for you, but I only have one right now. So I'm actually going to um, put the second one in at the second part of the video. <laughs> um, so I'll try to make it a quick, quick story before I get to showing you the item. Okay, quick story. This is part of my stained glass series of diamond paintings. Um, now, what had happened was um, I seen a fat, a fat, an ad on Facebook um, from some comp from a company um, that was doing some stained glass stuff, and I was like, "Oh, that's really nice." Um, and I checked them out. Way too much money. It's like, nope, sorry. Um, of course, not surprising. You know, they always lead with the, the, you know, um, what do you call it? <laughs> the uh, deceptive ads of, uh, you know, putting a price on it and then when you go look at it. Well, yeah, that's the price for the tiniest little one. Uh, I'm not surprised. I knew it was going to be that way, but I did anyway. Anyways, that's not the point. I wanted to look at the canvas itself, so I didn't find it. Um, then I was also trolling AliExpress. Now I don't really shop from AliExpress anymore. Very, very rarely. Um, almost basically never. Uh, um, only because I have premium companies either to buy from or I get my PR stuff from the budget companies. So I don't really need AliExpress stuff. However, I was interested. I do go on every so often to see if there's, you know, certain special drills that maybe hasn't come out yet or I just got to pique my interest with things like, you know, if you see a like 30 by 40, let's say, um, regular drill um, from a, one of the budget companies, and you're like, that's really pretty, I wish it was bigger. Well, you know, sometimes if you go on AliExpress um, and try to find the item, they, on AliExpress, they usually will offer you size um, and, and uh, drill uh, changes. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't think of the words right now. Um, whereas the budget companies used to have a standard one fit, one done, you know? Um, so, uh, that's, so I was doing that with the stained glass stuff. I was like, wanting to see, well, now that I'm into the whole stained glass thing right now, um, let me see what AliExpress has. Do they have any other items that maybe hasn't been out in the regular budget companies I deal with? And I didn't really find it, but I did come across that painting that I was interested in from this you know, other, you know, mainstream kind of company. And I was like, ooh. And so I decided, you know, let me click on it. I clicked on it. Um, they didn't offer like a render picture and there was no customer review for it and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, listen, I don't know if this is a new store. I don't know what the deal with this is, but I wanted a big one, of course. So... You know, everything looks, most of the things look better, larger size. So I decided, which I, by the way, I don't have my um, measure here, which I did only because I wanted to double check this for you all. But, um, oh yes, I do. Sorry, I do have it. So I found the picture. They, you could choose the size or, or round or square. So I got a uh, round in the 60 by 80. And it was only like $16. And I'm like, I could do $16. You know, I, I've stated numerous times. I'm sure you all who watch are here, tired of hearing about it. I can't be buying stuff. My credit card bill is way too high. I need to secretly pay it off. So, uh, so you know, but 16 I can kind of, you know, sneak in there. Well, to make a long story longer, I get this item. It wasn't the right one. I was upset. Pers you know, just to myself, I was like, oh, I can't believe it, really. I wanted this one so badly, and they sent me the wrong thing. And so, I, of course, uh, I want to complain about it, but I know I'm like, you know what? This could be my fault. It's one of those items where when you click on the page, they have, like, multiple pictures there um, that you could choose from. So I'm like, maybe I made a mistake. And I just look on it, and I'm like, no, it says right there the name. I click on it. No, the item number's wrong. And that's what they go by. Because what had happened was that, you know, when they list the names, 
if you're familiar with that express you know it'll say diamond painting 4d blah 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 whatever it says you know it gives you like four lines of useless mumbo jumbo and it said the name of what i wanted in there so i assumed that that when i you know got it that that's what i had clicked on but it wasn't and so even though it was showing a picture of this in my order i wasn't really worried because that's happened before when you get stuff um, it's whatever, for whatever reason, like the first picture that they have in their sites, they will, um, uh, put that as your buying picture. So, um, I had to order again. So that kind of sucks because I only, well, I was like, it was my fault. I made the mistake. Um, it's only, uh, it's only $16, but another 16 now. So now I'm into the thirties and I'm like, Oh, come on. The only reason why I bought this to begin with was because it was cheap. You know, I could have but maybe, you know, a premium kit for, you know, not 30 to 30, $30, but you know, the way my mind works, well, if I would have added on another $10 to that, you know, that's how it works. My mind is crazy. So anyways, long story long, which I said I was gonna be short, but it's not, uh, that happened. So I got this. Now, what I will say is I'm happy with how this looks. I, at least it's a picture that I do like. So that's okay. Um, I actually probably have, a, I'm probably gonna give this away to somebody I know um, when it's done, uh, which is nice. And it came really quick. So that's another thing I just wanna address real quick before I show you. So this is a, like a shop that on this, the site that I never seen before. Um, and that's another thing. I don't know again how many of you have really gone on them lately, but I, I, and I, I don't really do it, but it seems like a lot of the old sites maybe or dime painting shops are gone. At least when I like search for stuff, like the same handful of them come up. So maybe like consolidated or maybe like a lot of them are no longer doing it. I don't know, but this seemed like a new one. So this came really fast. Now, let me tell you, I ordered it, this one, within like a few hours, I got a shipping notice. The, the second one that, that I'm really, you're going to see after this, um, it maybe was like maybe less than a day, but it, or around a day. I guess it depends what time I ordered because you know time differences and all that. And I I don't have it written down. It probably came in less than two weeks. So for a sixty by eighty to be sixteen dollars and to come less than two weeks and poured glue and it looks really nice. How, what more can you ask for if you are willing to spend some, if you want to you know spend some money somewhere right? All right, so let me show you what it is. We're gonna measure and do all the things. So here it is. So this is what they sent me. Uh, sorry about the glare from the sun, um, but it's morning here. So this it's a beautiful pink stained glass rose. Um, now you can't mistake the stained glassness of this. The lines are very thick, not thin lines. And of course the background. And so it is very pretty. So one interesting thing I've never seen before, I've never seen a barcode on dime painting, I don't think before, they have a barcode down here. And I know this is the number of the painting, the BB202, because mine was like BB209 or something. <laughs> um, so that's interesting that they keep track through barcodes, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, now it does have, the, the, the canvas is all right. It's definitely, um, it's a like kind of a middle. It's not one of those super flimsy ones, but it's not like really super thick. So it's kind of in the middle and the back looks worse for wear. There's a lot of, like it looks like um, creases and stuff, but when you actually turn it over, it's not too bad. You know, you won't really see the, uh, any kind of um, creases in the front or anything. So that's good. Uh, I wanted just to get this out real quick to measure it and we'll get some more, I'll give you more information in a minute. Let me just get this over with. So this is, uh, not true to what they say, which is all right. I don't care really, honestly. Um, it's a 74, it's the usual kind of, you know, budget stuff. 74 by like, uh, 55 roundabouts. So that's all right. It's plenty big. Um, it's really, really pretty. Uh, I will bring you down closer. They have the sort of Again, it's a guide circle, but not bad guide circle. Um, it's kind of like half and half. It has like the Diamond Art Club kind of guide circle, like in here with the color, with these purples, where you'll have 
uh, the background, like the, what happens is they print the picture on and then they must print the, I, I'm assuming this is how it goes, then they print like the symbols on or something. So the background here, so this color, let's say, would be purple, if you see over here. So then they have a purple symbol background and a black lettering. So it, that's kind of like how Diamond Art Club kind of does their guide circle. And it does, you know, nobody even calls it a guide circle, but basically that's what it is when you have a, when you're, you're making it that obvious. And in these, like, let's say these, with the, these are Y's in the, like, whitish area in the flower. Um, you know, you'll have, the, again, the background color. Then you'll have the symbol, which is a Y. And there'll be a very light printed uh, black circle. Again, not our favorite, but because it's printed lightly, it shouldn't come up through after the drills are placed, which should be a good thing. Okay, so like I said, that there's that. Um, the paper's okay. It's not, or the paper, the, the plastic is okay. It's not thick, but it's not super, super thin either. The stick is really, feels really good. Um, down on this side, we have, again, don't know what to believe here, or, or you know, they're kind of uh, certain advertising, they say. It says number one, customer priority, 100% money back guarantee, and support supporting artists worldwide. Nah, with that, I don't think this is a, the store is a licensed. If you're going to get a 60 by 80 for $16, methinks they're not paying anybody. So <laughs> uh, maybe they mean supporting artists by showing off their work and selling it. <laughs> um, I don't know. But uh, it is whatever that means to you, it means to you. Um, then we have down here, we have the thumbnail of the beautiful stained glass pink rose. Our color list, there is 30 colors here. And my favorite way to do it, one, two, eight. And then we have capital A through Y. Not all of them are in alphabetical order, of course, but you know how that goes. So here we have it right there. And let's look at the top for you. And we'll, as we do that, I'll give you a, a rundown of the canvas. So it says Diamond Art Kit by, so that's kind of nice. Uh, they're imaging up here uh leor l-e-e-a-o-r so uh leor is the name of the store on aliexpress if you're interested in it of course i will link this below by the way did i even give any of my intros i don't think i did i'm so sorry we're 13 minutes in and i didn't give an intro uh -huh. well if i didn't welcome everybody i'll make it quick welcome everybody new people True Blues, thank you so much. Do the youtube -y things, and uh, everything will be linked below that you need to know. All right? Sorry about that. Uh, it's been, like, day, who knows, many days since I did a recording, and I'm all off my game, I guess. Anyways, the store's Lior uh, Print Hub, and then it says, We Create Magic. So that's actually a very nice professional-looking header up here. Right, guys? Um, I'm going to actually bring you down closer with the with the with my stiffy here so we could see the close-up of the canvas instead of me bringing you up with my hands. So there we are. We could see. Um, I don't have a problem seeing it, but let's face it. These, this is black on a very dark gray background and a black symbol. That can be could be a whole lot better for people who have trouble seeing. Um, I use light pads, so it's not an issue for me, and my eyes are fairly okay as far as seeing stuff, so. Um, but for some people, it might be a little struggle. And so here is what I'm talking about, of course, with the, um, when I was talking about the guide circle-y type things. And here we have the color, and here we have that, um, the light symbol it's like it looks like it's like done in a gray or very very light black so it's not that bad again closer up okay So 
So there, isn't it beautiful? So it is a beautiful um, image. Like I said, um, I'm going to do it. I'm glad it's. I got something that, um, or I mistakenly chose something <laughs> that I am actually think is going to be pretty and I'm going to like doing. And I can like the colors and all that stuff. Um, these drills came in the baggie like this. So they are pre-bagged in um, the resealable bags. Again, they have the uh, barcode on here, which is not similar to the one on there, so I don't know what the point of that is. But um, but anyways, it does give you the, again, the code for the kit, which is the BB202. Um, 19, I don't know what 19 means, um, but it says 60 by 80. And uh, yeah. So we have our blacks, our purples, and a whole bunch of colors. Let's start here. The blacks in the middle, lots of that, of course, for the outline, and our colors all over here. Uh, the drills look really pretty. Uh, no, it doesn't look like there's any issues with them. And uh, yeah, so. There we have it. Our first um, stained glass kit from this company, uh, Leor. And um, please stay tuned. Um, I'm going to end it right here. I don't have the second kit yet as I'm filming this. Um, but uh, So you'll pro it'll be a while before you see this video. Uh, <laughs> but uh, stay tuned. And I'm going to show you the second kit. And let's hope, fingers crossed, it's as fabulous as the artwork it is. All right. Thanks so much and be right back, guys. I am back, guys. How exciting. It's here. So the lucky part is, since I went into all that details and even the canvas information and stuff, this probably will be a very super, super quick second part of the video, which kind of sucks since, you know, this is the one I really wanted. Um, but I gave you all the information. It's going to be all the same, basically. Um, so, but it, just if you wanted to know, this is so it came just like this. Um, it came in this uh, bubble mailer bag, like this, that comes off the top. Perfectly fine. I don't care about that. It, it got here. That's all that matters. No damage, nothing. So that's how it comes. Of course, I don't usually show these because I always forget and I don't keep them around. But, you know, you get your usual standard toolkits with this all these kits and we have our drills so let's look at the drills before i show you the canvas so we have a lot of this which yes this is black so we have two big old bags of black right here again it's around it's a 60 by 80 we have blues and some uh, oranges pinks again more blues minty uh blue bluish green color lilac very light lilac pinks and blues Again, darker blues. So lots of blues in this one. You know, pink's a little orange. They all come in the individual resealable bags here. Very nice. Um, I have to say, with these two stained glass that I have gotten, I am super impressed with this store. Um, it, like I said, the canvas is kind of, uh, I guess, more the old-fashioned kind. It's not a soft back. I don't really care about that. Um, the, the backing on this one is a little bit, uh, not as bad, I don't think, as the other one, probably. Um, but that's kind of, I think a lot of this is my fault, because, you know, I took it out to look at it, and then I put it away, and then I took it out again, and transported it, and all that kind of stuff. So I think I actually put some of these creases in, because this one, I think, when I opened it, was really almost perfect. Um, but I think I was the one who created this. So, you know, that's the kind of sucky thing, I guess, that the the canvas backing itself can get like indented and you know that stuff doesn't come out but it doesn't event affect the painting really on the other side um but like i was saying oh i was saying i was impressed by them so you know you have to be impressed when you know of course you get individual bags which is good um and like i said the brand they have their own branding you know uh, the pricing is good to get to get a 60 by 80 you know, for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars, you know, that around that range, less than twenty, let's just say that much. Uh, that's really nice. And uh, the two quality of the canvas, the clarity, uh, again, really, really super impressed. 
Uh, I keep going back to their store to look to see if they have more stuff. I don't think they've added more stuff since I've looked there, but I keep looking in. And you know, the one thing I will say is that if you click on something, for instance, like these stained glass ones, not all of them like will come up in the, in the um, you know how you go in the drop down categories and you say view all products? Not every one actually really shows up there. I don't know why I really wish that would um, because you're, you know, you're gonna, people are gonna, your customers are not gonna see everything. Um, so when I, let's say this one comes up and I click on this, there'll be like eight, 10 other items in the, in the, on, on the page and you just click, you know, click the ones to look through them. And so you'll see I, uh, diamond paintings that aren't showing up during the search all kind of thing. So that's the kind of one bad part about their site or the way they set it up is that, you know, they have other stuff that's kind of hidden there. So, um... I guess I've been talking long enough, four minutes. Without further ado, let's just look at it. Let me say, I'm stunned. I adore this. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, of, of all the ones I've gotten recently, top three, if not top two. I, I, I just, stunned. Love it, love it, love it. I actually would recommend it, the store, from at least from the stained glass point of view, I don't know about the other stuff, but, you know, if you're looking for a cheaper kit, if you you don't mind shopping on AliExpress. Oh, and this one did come in about 14, 15 days, I believe. It was a kind, tiny bit longer than the other one came. The other one came a little bit quicker, but that's, that's all right. Listen, two weeks, I'm good with it. All right, let's look at it, guys. I know you're, you've been tired of the anticipation, um, and like I said again... It's called the Lior Store or Lior Print Hub. Again, they have their uh, branding here. Okay, let's look at it. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous unicorn. How can you not love this? I Stunning, 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 stunning piece here. Uh, again, I'll just go through some quickling. Quick things, yes, they do have the guide circles. They don't look too bad. I'm sure they'll be fine. I won't know till I work on it, though, of course. Um, and it's not a hand chart, but it's done so well, uh, even though it's not. I mean, the unicorn is gorgeous. The colors and the hair and the mane. Oh, my God, these pinks and these blues, these purples. Uh, it's basically a rainbow mane. And the, the stained glass background with the window. I I am speechless with this one. I really am. Uh, it's just a stunning piece. So, uh, oh, and the about the printing, yes, it is weird. Uh, it's one of those things where the printing is a little the stranger. Um, now this is in a landscape. Uh, so it's this way. The printing is, however, is in, you know, the other way so it's in portrait mode so the color list goes down this way actually even the printing goes on that way too oh, all right hold on so here's the color list over here again we start with the numbers and then go into the alphabet and just have one symbol at the bottom and um, there's 31 colors and so it's printed this way the actual um, symbols are also printed this way. So you're looking at it, you know, going down here, uh, you know, reading it this way. This is how it's printed. I don't know why. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. I rotate canvases all the time. So that kind of thing here or there uh, doesn't really bother. But it's a, just an interesting thing to point out. Uh, yeah, it's just, just absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to take you down to get closer. To look at it again we have a barcode down here which is you know interesting and good for them trying to find where their products are and gets in the in the uh, uh factory you know so let's take a look at the canvas up close for you as you can see what the drill field looks like the unicorn as I said, I wish this would come and I had got everything done because I, I don't have much to say beyond 
Look at how beautiful this is. I covered everything really in the last video. Or the first part of the video, I should say. So, uh, yeah, isn't it just beautiful? I mean, even though you're up close and look how beautiful it is. I just, oh, stunning, stunning. And they have other, of course, stained glass ones if you're interested. Um, yeah, so just curiosity. I'm just looking for this color. And then maybe a cream color. We'll see. I don't know. Six and X. Blues. Yeah, so the bluish purple. The uh, the unicorn is going to be... Oh. All right, guys. I don't want to keep you any longer. It's been a long enough video. So what do you think of this? these two canvases? Um, have you ever bought from the Lior store? That's L-E-E-A-O-R on AliExpress. I think it's a fairly new one. Um, you know, when you look up top, you can see reviews and customer ratings. Um, so I, I, and if my memory serves me, it had, doesn't have tons of them. So that's why I'm thinking this is a new store. I think they had like something about somewhere between 200 products, maybe three. I don't remember exactly. Again, not tons of stuff, but I'm super impressed as first impression with them goes with these two kits. Again, I don't know what the other more standard uh, kind of a few design kits look like. Um, again, it could be just because this is a certain uh, stained glass is something that would look good normally, maybe. I don't know. But um, listen, if you're interested in something cheaper, um, I think they do customs too. So it's a good place maybe to try a custom out. I think it'll be, it's basically probably the same uh, price probably as this, maybe a couple dollars more, but uh, it's w worth it to check it out, you know, why not? Uh, see what they have. And, uh, you know, what can I tell you? I'll link this below, actually, in the description box, um, of course. And uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I don't know what part in this journey you're going to see this, but um, I, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me you know all your thoughts about uh, the, the kit, two kits you've seen and uh, all that good stuff. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Love you all. Everybody, please be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.